I'm here in South Africa, and I tell you what, it's a trip of a lifetime, but I found something that's pretty cool. It's endemic to the area, not a rock, but this little beauty right here, it's a leopard tortoise. That's right, he's got hard feet, so he lives on the land, occasionally going into small puddles of water to hydrate himself. These guys are a true vegetarian species. They do have burrows, which they like to retreat under the ground because here in South Africa, it gets really hot during the summers. And I tell you what, they're absolutely gorgeous. In Australia, we have what we like to call freshwater turtles or freshwater tortoises, but really, they're neither. And in fact, this is what we like to call, and is really determined as a true tortoise. It has feet. So tortoises have hard feet, which they live mostly on land, occasionally going into water to drink. <laughs> this little fellow wants to get a go, get away. And turtles have actually flippers, so they live primarily in the oceans or in the water and occasionally come out onto dry land to lay their eggs or egg deposition. Now, a tortoise or a turtle really is neither because the Australian turtles can live in water most of their life, come out on land and lay eggs, but then on occasions they'll actually migrate across land to other areas for water source and for food and for mating. So I'm going to leave you with that little quiz. What is the Australian turtles or tortoises really are? They're probably more closely related to the American terrapins, which are very similar with their feet. You know I don't speak Spanish. In English, please. Look at this little beauty right here. This is the brown African hinchback tortoise. One of the very few, very unique tortoises in the fact that the shell itself is almost articulate in the back section across here. Now, it's really weird and the reason why is to help for defense. So when this animal is scared, it pulls in tightly like that, pulls his back legs in and pulls the back of the shell down to cover his legs so nothing can pull out his feet. That's pretty awesome. When we flip him over, you can see the inside of his plastron here is actually concave. To me, that would mean that this particular animal would be a male. It's another herbivorous animal. And they tell you what, they're just so damn cute.